Welcome yet again to another episode of Can You Believe It? We've been looking at the subject of uh, death. We've looked at the death of the woman and the consequences that came after our disobedience. Now, let's look at men. What did men do? And what were what was the punishment for his willing for disobedience? Come on, Dr. Kamal. Thank you, Dr. Joseph. Uh, Pastor Joseph, again, by the grace of God, here we are uh, studying the Word of God. By grace, we understand it. By grace, we live it. By grace, we proclaim it. Try to present only that which Scripture says. It's true. I give examples so that you may be able to understand. Because mm -hmm. some of these things are so deep. Yeah. Scripture is so deep. Paul wrote so deep. Yeah. And we're going to be looking at Paul and death mm. in, next, in the next, next episode. Series, yeah. So, But now we're going back to the definition of death. We saw the definition of death of the woman. And I told you that uh, any woman would tell you it's, it's painful to experience this. Uh, I call it death. Death to the joy of giving birth. Death to the joy of experience of the experience of being a woman. Mm -hmm. Death to the joy of the process mm -hmm. unto giving birth. It is not, uh, it's not easy mm -hmm. for the woman. And that, as I told you, that is death. And mm -hmm. I say it very clearly, and I'm repeating this to men. If you have a wife and you have gross daughters, you have to get a cup, extra cup oh, of grace. Pour it in your cup and drink it mm -hmm. so that you can understand, understand women, mm -hmm. mothers, wives, daughters. Pour a cup of extra grace because let me tell you, they have been cast mm -hmm. and they live in pain. Pain. Every one of them, it's not easy. It affects every part of their lives. So you as a leader, whether it is secular leadership, spiritual leadership, or even in the home, remember, an extra cup of grace to the woman. Because there is death. Now, 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 let's go to the man. Oh my goodness, this is, uh, I like the oh, this, this is rough. This is rough. This is rough. Yeah. All right, let's go. All right, this is to Adam, Genesis chapter 3, verse 17. It is here. Remember, I told you the kingdom of God was not happy. He said. So he says to Adam, Christ. Again, I told you, the creator is Christ. Mm -hmm. The stuff, everything in the Bible from Genesis to Revelation to the end of time is Christ. Because he was given the authority by the father to create and he created that which he wanted to create. Mm. And he is the one who sustains it, Paul says, by his word. Mm. All right. So Christ says to Adam, because you listened to your wife and ate from the tree about which I commanded you, you must not eat. Here it comes. You ready? It's an earthquake. Is devastating. It says, cast is a ground because of you. That's the first thing. Cast is the ground. The accessions of death. Second, through painful toil, you will eat of it all the days of your life. It's the second thing. Second death here. It's death. Mm -hmm. Third, it will produce thorns and thistles. Mm -hmm. That's the third. Fourth, all right, by your sweat, you shall eat it. Of your bro, you will eat your food. Uh huh. Fifth, until you return to the ground, since from it you are taken. For dust you are, and to dust you shall return. Those are five things. 
those are not let me tell you woman remember the woman was touched and her body was touched mm -hmm. and she lives in misery this is it for you man cast is the ground why is it that he he doesn't cast the man by the way he doesn't touch the man like he touches the woman doesn't say you you have pain you have suffering you no 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 he goes back and this is very important this is deep walk with me this is very deep this is what he's saying he's saying you know what listen okay. huh? that ground everything i created mm -hmm. i created with you in mind i created with you in mind remember i said the joy of the water the food the mountains the experience of life i created with joy with you in mind and now you have purposely decided you don't want it you have signed it to the devil he said, therefore, it is you, because it was for you that I created all these things, I'm going to curse it. And in cursing it, he curses you. Now, I want you to watch this. Remember the words I say. Creates with joy for us to eat and drink and enjoy. Now he says, cursed is a ground. What does that mean? He takes the joy out of everything that he creates. Death. Because a banana grows in the ground, the ground is cursed. So the banana is cursed. That wonderful cup of water, the glass of water that you drink, comes from the ground. The ground is cursed. That glass of water is cursed. That beautiful apple that you eat, the meat that you like to barbecue, huh? the fish that you like to go and fish. You know that fish? When you're, when you're fishing, I want you to think of it from now on this way. When you go out there fishing and you put your huh, thing in there and you you rail in, you're, I want you to be singing a song, bringing in the curse, bringing in the curse, bringing in the curse. Mm -hmm. That fish is cursed. When you drive a car and you're enjoying that car, remember, it is cursed. Every single thing that is created for you now becomes a curse. What are they? What do I mean by that? You see, it is important to hold that that statement that I just made, because it says, until you return to the ground, for dust you are and dust you shall return. Right? So basically, what death is, death is the removal of life giving and the joy of being alive. That joy was taken out. It's taken out. That's why doctors stare us all the time. You are what you eat. Stop eating. If you have diabetes, uh -huh, what did they say? Some food you can't eat. That which we become. Let me let me give you let me give you my my understanding. This is deep stuff, okay? When he said, you shall surely die, okay? The kingdom of death is created. Mm -hmm. And we will see that Paul talks about it in the book of Corinthians, 1 Corinthians 15. We'll deal with it, okay? Death is the removal mm -hmm. of joy. He removed his joy, the one he had when he was he created, and gave you that joy so that you can enjoy bananas and carrots and whatever. He removed it. Mm. And it is only because of that, the joy that we experience in everything is temporary. Mm. Everything you eat is cast. Everything. Everything you see is cast. 
my mother was not a theologian. My father was a theologian, great Kenyan pastor. And I wondered about my mother because she liked to wake up in the morning, very early in the morning and make pancakes. She made some of the best pancakes. Dr. Joseph, my mother made the best. You, you, mm. you knew my mother. She made the best pancakes. Mm. Every morning she would wake up and make some pancakes. And before you eat the pancakes, every time you ate those pancakes, anything that you did with my mother, whether it was water, mm. she always prayed for it mm. before we ate. And, and it, I think the reason why I really wanted to study the scriptures is because I want to know where she got this doctrine from. Because she used to say, while well, she was praying for her food, she said, Lord, if there is anything that is harmful in this pancake or this food or this water, she will ask the Lord, please, please take it away. And I was like, Mom, you're the one who cooked this thing. What did you put in there? <laughs> it was scary. It was scary. It was moving. It was hey, why don't we just eat it? You're saying you and you're the one who made it. It must be good. You know, she knew something that I did not know. And, and it became an inspiration for me to seek to understand. You know, she knew by grace that the pancakes she's making, she's using wheat flour that grows on the ground and the ground is cursed. She, she, she is adding salt that comes from the ground and the ground is cursed. She, she is using water, uh, cooking oil, and, and pans, plates to serve us. Everything is cursed. And I think she was like, oh, Lord, you cursed it. And yet, yet, look at this. You, it's, a, I have to feed my family this stuff. You see the death, the death of joy and of happiness that was created by Christ for us to enjoy. It, it became, it's miserable. For he causes this food, this meat, these trees, the, the mountains, we, the, the cars, the, the pencil, the, my, this, this thing, he causes it. And yet, I have to live in it. So she prays, please. And that's why I tell parents, it is important to pray. You know, and I realize why she prays for it. She prays, she's praying for grace for peace, so that when you're eating it, even though it's cursed, you, know, you eat it with joy and, and, and understanding, and, but it is still cursed. Mm -hmm. So death involves, you know this stuff? This stuff, this stuff that people take pride in. Hmm? This face, the trees, that mountain you see, the animals, you see all this stuff? It's cursed. And let me tell you how, 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 how miserable that is. Let me tell you how miserable it is. Do you know that the within every country, the, the, the budget that consumes most things is bullets, weapons. Ukraine, United States, Russia, China, um, weapons. And you know what they're fighting about? The ground. And it is cast. You know what they're fighting about? Finances. Wheat. Where to grow wheat. Corn. Uh, where to get minerals and like gold and, and silver. What, what a misery. And it's cursed. That's a curse. That's a death. It is we are dead even in our mind because we can't even understand that those things we hold so dear, we fight over, we kill over, we destroy over. We're destroying over things that are cursed. Oh, oh, you see what death means? Death means the destruction of the mind of man so that they are, they, they have no knowledge, no understanding. You see, when you come to understand that, that's when 
I usually say the way to defeat that death, it is to transform the things that you got, you know, that thing, my mother was taking that which that was cast and asking God to transform it into a blessing. How do you transform it into a blessing? Is to take these things that are cast and to use it for his honor and glory. When you do that, guess what you do? You're transforming this cast into a blessing. What kind of a blessing? Of life that is coming, mm -hmm. that does not have any restrictions of joy, mm -hmm. of, of, does not have any pain, doesn't have any misery. So that is what he is saying, that you will eat this stuff, you will toil over this stuff. You will still, even though it's cast, you will seek to mm -hmm. have it. Mm -hmm. Even though it's cast, you will, you will fight for it. Even though it's cursed, you're going to spend so much money on weapons, on nuclear weapons, on submarines. You, you're going to, to, to fight for the, your clothes. and you, You're going to seek to have the best of cars. And all this stuff is material. It's matter. Mm -hmm. It's cursed. You're going to do it. You, you, you are cursed. Man, you brought about the curse, not just for you, but now also you add upon the woman and the curse she has of pain. You added pain upon the woman. Wow. My goodness gracious me, the definition of death needs to be seen, not just at the end of your life. No, it is the end of the joy that Christ gave men of that which he created. Mm. Oh, how I wish you would transform mm. this cast into a blessing for the kingdom. Mm. And what is the consequence within the New Testament mm. of death? All right. Awesome, awesome. Uh really exposition of the scriptures here into looking into the subject of death. We've gone to the foundations of what death is all about and seen the uh, judgment and uh, what Eve had to and uh, suffer because of her disobedience. And now we've seen what Adam had to go through uh, because of that curse that he received. Now, we're going to look into the New Testament and uh, dig deeper into Paul and try to understand uh, the redemption of mankind in reference to death. Does it end there? What is death? When we die, what happens? Let's let's go to now the New Testament and look at the issue of death uh, in depth. Again, this is Can You Believe It? Where we believe in exposing the truth and sharing the word of God as we know it. Again, no emotions, no commentary, just the word. And um, again, this is, can you believe it? 